It is Tuesday, January 10th, and a new Marvel Snap patch has just dropped, bringing with it sweeping balance changes, quality of life and visual improvements, as well as new bundles that are purchasable in the shop. All of the balance changes were same as the ones that were leaked in the patch notes that I covered last week. So rather than spending your time reviewing those again, if you missed me going over that, I'm going to link that video in the description of this one down below. Today, I'm going to be walking through the pro bundle as well as the gold bundle that was added to the shop and talking about the value that they provide if you're interested in purchasing them. I'm also going to be taking a look at two upcoming bundles that were data mined in the client files and talk about what they contain and if they are something you should consider watching out for with your valuable resources and cash. Let's go ahead and dive on into it. I always like to remind people when talking about the value in bundles in Marvel Snap and games like it that value is a very subjective proposition. These are, after all, just pixels we are purchasing on a screen. Budgets are important, and it really doesn't matter how much value there is in a given bundle if it is outside of the price range that you are interested and able to spend on a game like Snap. That being said, let's go ahead and jump on into the first of the two bundles that were added to the shop today, starting with the Pro Bundle. So a couple noteworthy things here. The first is that this is a cash-only bundle costing a whopping 100 USD. The second, there's no timer on the Pro Bundle. So I'm operating under the assumption that this is going to be in the shop in perpetuity. There's no deadline or cutoff that you need to purchase it by. Next up is the fact that this is a one-time purchase. So you cannot constantly put in 100 USD and get this amount of resources. One time you can spend 100 USD and get 12,500 credits and 155 boosters for eight random cards currently in your Marvel Snap collection. There are two baseline comparisons that I want to make for this pro bundle. The first is in comparison to the 10 USD per month season pass. If we look purely at the credits and gold that you are getting purchasing the premium season pass every month, buying 10 Marvel Snap season passes comes out to the equivalent of about 15,000 credits in total, assuming you spend all the gold in those passes on credits. In addition to that, those passes passes also come with a card every single month. So the long story short is if you're thinking about should I be getting the pro bundle versus spending my resources in Marvel Snap on the monthly passes, the monthly passes still are and probably will forever remain the best ratio of dollars to stuff that you can get inside of Marvel Snap. The second comparison that you need to make for the Pro Bundle, if you've already purchased the Season Pass and want to spend another 100 USD on Snap Progress, is how does this stack up to purchasing 100 USD of gold and then slowly turning that gold into credits over the course of five or six days in the Marvel Snap Shop? 100 USD worth of gold is 8,000 gold, which translates to 10,000 credits as you purchase them slowly. This means you get 25% additional credits in the Pro Bundle compared to purchasing gold and turning it into credits directly. When you factor in that you're also getting some boosters to let you infinite split eight random cards with this purchase as well, the Pro Bundle is definitely more efficient than buying gold to obtain progress in Marvel Snap. Talking about what this Pro Bundle gets you in terms of overall account progression is worth mentioning here as well. You'll see here in client, it mentions 250 collection level value. This does not mean by purchasing this, you get 250 collection levels on your account. In addition to the credits, it means you can use these credits with boosters for eight random cards to get 250 collection level spent. You technically get a little bit more than that and how how much more exactly depends on where you're at in your collection track by the virtue of the fact that you gain additional credits and gold as you progress up the collection track, meaning getting 250 levels often turns into a little bit more than that. A metric that's important to a lot of people as well that don't know it offhand is this around 250 collection levels from the Pro Bundle if you are Series 3 complete 
will turn into between 2,500 and 3,000 collector tokens as you progress up the track and collect those from your reserves. If you are not Series 3 complete, these 250 collection levels will turn into approximately 500 tokens worth of collector's tokens as you progress that collection level up the track. Finally, speaking of collector's tokens, we should probably mention that this bundle does not have those directly in them like the other Cyber Holiday and big bundles we saw in Marvel Snap previously. However, those other bundles were time limited and no longer available, meaning the Pro Bundle is the currently available best purchase in Marvel Snap after you have already purchased the Season Pass. A new time-limited bundle, the Primal Masterpiece, has appeared in the shop as well with this update. This costs 3,000 gold, comes with three variants, three avatars, 155 boosters to split each of these variants, and only 1,500 credits. As is frequently the case with these bundles that contain a good amount of variants in them, if your goal is to spend Marvel Snap resources on collection progress, this is a terrible thing to pick up. Only 1,500 credits for 3,000 gold means you're getting one credit for every two points of gold that you spend. This is a worse ratio than the 1.25 credits for every one gold that you spend if you are buying credits for gold in the shop directly every single day. This is a cosmetic focus bundle. And again, if your goal is to max out your account progress as quickly as you can with the resources that you get, you should not be spending your gold on this Primal Masterpiece pickup. In addition to the two bundles that went live today, Marvel Snap Data Miners over at the Snap.Fan Discord server has also dug up two other upcoming bundles. As always, these data mines are subject to change, so take them with a grain of salt. That being said, we'll go ahead and evaluate them based on what they look like they're going to be now. The dino-sized bundle is 4,000 gold, comes with 5,000 credits, comes with enough boosters to split Devil Dinosaur twice, comes with a Devil Dinosaur variant and avatar, as well as a title. The credits to gold ratio in this dino size bundle are actually quite reasonable. They are 1.25 gold to credits, which is the exact same ratio that you get credits for when purchasing them for gold directly in the shop. That means this bundle is just the same ratio as if you were to convert gold to credits daily, meaning if you enjoy these variants and you wanted to spend gold on progress anyways, the Devil I Know bundle looks like it will be a good pickup both for the cosmetics and the account progress that it will be providing to you. Finally, they look to be giving us something players have been asking for for a while now, and that is another small spender bundle. The Festival Fireworks Bundle looks to be 5 USD, coming with 500 credits, 500 gold, and a Jubilee avatar and variant. The ratio of USD to stuff in this bundle is almost 2x the ratio of what you get in the Pro Bundle that we looked at earlier. It's actually an even better ratio of pure resources to USD than the season pass that you can buy every single month. Um, I hope this one is successful as a sample. It looks very clear that Marvel Snap and Second Dinner are trying an incredible range of different price points. And if you're one of the many people out there that's been clamoring for a small spendle, spender bundle on the regular in Marvel Snap, I hope you consider picking this one up. If Second Dinner has strong signals that making bundles like this can be a reasonable avenue to make their game profitable, I have to imagine that we will see more at this price point and ratio of stuff in the future, which I think would be very good for the game overall. Speaking of the season pass, the season pass for February has been data mined. Modoc will be the new card coming with that. Five energy, eight power card that discards the entirety of your hand when you play it out. Past just the new card though, something else that's noteworthy in this data mine season pass is that Ant-Man and more specifically Wasp are the data mined variants and Wasp is the first instance of a series three card appearing as a variant in the season pass. 
This is significant because the way variants have worked in the past when you purchase them in Marvel Snap is you gain access to playing with that card in its variant form as soon as you gain the variant, giving you earlier access to it. It is noteworthy, you still have to collect the base version of that card from the collection level track later on, but for example, if you're someone who has Lockjaw and you're waiting for Wasp to be a zero drop to help you power up that archetype, this season pass will help you unlock that earlier in addition to giving you Modak and everything else that comes with the season pass when you purchase and progress through it. Hopefully today's breakdown gave you some idea on the best way to spend your resources in Marvel Snap for the upcoming month with the various bundles and things for purchase that will be available. As always, if you learned something, consider tapping that like button to help this content reach more people. I appreciate all of y'all that made it all the way through to the end of the video. And if you happen to be new here, consider subscribing to the channel. I post Marvel Snap breakdowns like this, as well as gameplay tidbits and highlights here seven days a week. And I'd love to see you back again. Happy snapping, folks, and we'll see you back again real soon.